Hi, welcome to my video tutorial. Today I'm looking at Dragon Actually Speaking 12.5 Professional and I'm looking at Advanced Scripting. This is part 4 of a part 4 video tutorial on scripting using Dragon. First thing I need to decide is what script I'm going to create. As you can see I've got Word 2013 open. I'm going to create a script so it actually changes the font style, font size, I don't know whether to choose bold or italicized or underline yet but I'll have a look. So let's make a start. First of all we need to go to the drag and bar and select tools. In the drop down menu select add new command. Now we need to give the script a name. So I'm going to call this just general formatting. Use more than one word that way dragon will actually pick up the command better. Now I need to train that command so click the train button and then click go and say your name general formatting. Once is normally enough. We can give that command a description if you like just by typing it in there. It could be the actual formatting options or what the script's going to actually do. You can choose a group that way you can access it in the command browser but if you need to find a script later. Now we've got global, application specific or window specific. I could put it on application specific and then choose and browse for Word 2013 or I can leave it on global or even window specific within an application but in this case I'm actually going to use Word and I'm going to leave it on global it isn't even a working word because I'm going to use the app bring up command that's going to bring up Microsoft Word so it's going to be kind of specific to an application anyway but it's not going to make much difference click the drop down menu I'm going to select advanced scripting pop into the script window I'm ready to make a start. So my first option I need to use is app bring up. You know you put the command in right because it comes up underneath here that you need to put a string in. So now I need to find a path to word. So what we can do is is find a path here, there's word, I'm going to right click the shortcut, click properties and there's the target. So control C to copy. And then I can put that in my script. Open up my command editor again. So now I need to paste that into here. So control V. There's my first command. Always make sure it's in quotes. I copied it anyway, it was in quotes, but always make sure that it's in quotes. So now Dragon, when I say the command general formatting, it's going to open up Word. Click enter is my first command. As Draken opens there's normally a 3-4 second delay so I'm going to do a little command called wait. 3 indicates 3 seconds you can use 0 0.1, 0 0.2 for 100th of a second. Sometimes you have to play around with the wait command to get the timing just right because some applications or commands need time to open or actually execute. Click the enter button so Word's going to open, it's going to wait 3 seconds. Now in Word 2013, when you open up the interface, it gives you an option to choose a blank document or templates. Well it's already on blank documents, so if I use the next command, which is send dragon keys. Now to do a command, it's open quote, open curly bracket, remember open curly bracket. Type in the command you want, in this case enter close curly bracket, close quote. So Word's going to open, it's going to wait 3 seconds, then it's already on blank document, it's going to click the enter button and open a blank document for me. So far so good. So now I want to access the font style and the font size. Now I could do that independently by using key prompts like we did in step by step. But it's probably a quicker way. Let's have a look, let's go to Word. If I hover over font style, ah, I can access it with the control plus shift plus F command. So if I do that now, great, that brings up my font options. So what I could do is create a command, so I'll choose a font there, then a font style, and then a font size, and then click OK with the enter button. I think that'll work, so we try it out. So I know my next command, so I need to send dragon keys again, so highlight that command, control C, or 
you can do it up here by copying and pasting. So my next command is going to be the shortcut that I just showed you for the fonts. So remember when you're doing commands, open quote, open curly bracket, so the command was control, plus shift, plus F, close curly bracket, close quote. And there you go. So that's going to open my font options. Now I said when it goes on there, I want to choose a font. So let's choose that again, send dragon keys, copy, and we can paste it down here again, control V. So as the font's not a command, I can just type in the font I want. I'll use any font random. Make sure you do it in the correct format. So far, so good. So it's going to open the font options and choose my specific font. Now, I need to move on to the next selection, which is font style. I could choose bold, italic, and so on. So to move to the next section, control V, send drag and key again, open quote. Now I need a command to move to the next section. So open curly bracket, tab, close curly bracket, close quote. And that will move me to the next section. Now, if I control V, I can choose what I want there. For example, bold, italicized. Uh, should I make this? bold I think. You notice I'm not using the curly brackets because it's not a command. So quick review. Open up Word, wait three seconds, click the enter button, open a blank document. Select Control Shift and F to bring up my font options. I've got my font there, it's going to tab and then move to my font style bold. Now you notice I'm not using the wait commands because I'm going to try it out first then use the wait commands. So if stuff is overlapping with the commands, I can put weight in there. I'll show you that in a minute. So the next option is font size. So again, I'm going to need this command here, aren't I? Tab to move to font size. So control C. Control V. As you start going along, you start getting quicker. You start flowing. So what font size I'm going to use? So I'm going to need the dragon. Command again. Control V. I'm going for font size 18, I think. So far, so good. So let me go back to Word and have a look what I've done. So it's going to open up Word and open this blank document. Then it's going to do a shortcut key, which is Shift, Control, F. It's going to choose my font there. Automatically. Then it's going to tab. And it's going to go down to bold. Then it's going to tab, put 18 in. So that's where I'm at. So if you look at the command now, if I click the enter button, that will select everything for me. So my last command will be enter. So remember when you're doing a command, open bracket, open curly bracket, enter, close quote. Now that looks fine. I'm a bit worried about I might need maybe a wait command here and there, but we can try it out. So I need to say general formatting, then I'm hoping it will create all this script for me. So first I need to save the command, and we're going to try the command out. General formatting. And as you can see, I'm not giving it enough time for Word to open, then execute my next command. Let me show you what I mean. And this is what I say when you use the wait command. So open Command Browser from the Tools menu on Dragon Bar, and let's find my general formatting option, which is there. Or click the Edit button to access it. So it's bringing up, as I said, Microsoft Word, but it's not waiting long enough. So I'm going to make that 5 seconds. Click Save see if that works. General formatting. And there you go. All done. So what I could do is add another command here if I want to for line and paragraph spacing. So you can see how easy it is to do 
And once you start flowing, you can create so many great scripts to save you time just by using the command. Thanks for watching. Learning made easy.